Yosha are delighted to have been awarded a place on the Underground Refuse Systems Framework under Lot 2 for the supply of technology associated with URS. Yota provide market leading infrastructure assets and environmental service software with nearly 200 local authorities and their private sector contractors within the UK relying on our software to help manage vital public realm services. Yota are part of Oxford Metrics. Our sister company is called Vicon, who are the world leaders in motion capture technology. Many of the high profile movies and video games that we see on our screens these days have used Vicon technology in their creation. And what unites Vicon and Yotta are that we deal with huge volumes of data and they are all about visualising these vast amounts of data to deliver insight and help our customers make better decisions. As one of a select number of uh, technology providers on the framework, I want to provide you with an insight into the technology that Yotta can provide you uh, with to help you manage your URS and wider services. We've designed Alloy from its foundations to be a flexible application it gives its users the tools required to make the system work for you, rather than your operations being restricted by the system itself. The system is hosted securely in the cloud, and all you need to access Alloy is a modern web browser, which means staff can access the system from any location and any device anywhere in the world. One of the truly unique aspects of Alloy is that all data within the system is available through its open API, and the system supports single sign-on, as you can see here. Another of the truly unique aspects of the system is that you can design and manage any type of asset or service within it. That means that as new market innovations arise, councils using Alloy have the flexibility to create and manage and make the adjustments they want to their data in a flexible manner. With the designer feature, users can easily create new asset designs, define components or create activity types. And the data associated to any design can easily be seen as we can see here for these underground waste containers. And this includes all the relationships uh, between different data, in this case, the different possible access types that can be associated to a URS container. Designs can easily be changed. So if, for example, you want to start recording particular information against your URS bins or any other asset, you can simply use the designer to make those changes. In this example, we've added a new field of container volume and defined whether it's required and whether it's unique, as you can see on the left hand side. And then, as you can see there, that field has been added to the design under the custom attributes section. The location of any asset can easily be defined by selecting its location on the map. Assets can be point based, as in this example, or can be polyline or polygon based. So, for example, the actual size of each URS container can be mapped out and shown within the system. The componentization of an asset can also be easily defined. This means that data remains connected and structured in sensible ways that you can define and control. All of this flexibility means that as URS begin to grow in use and deployment, the system can be easily adjusted by yourself to take account of new information or data structures and ways of describing and defining your assets that you want to use. That flexibility is incredibly important when deploying innovative practices that have yet to become established in the UK. Equally, that flexibility is hugely important for practices and management of assets and services that are more established, perhaps where COVID-19 and other challenges mean you want to look at new ways of managing those and need a system and data flexibility to support that. Alloy has been created using modern software design principles, which means that connectivity is central to the system. It has been designed to easily connect to other systems, and that includes any sensors that have an API that allows us to connect to them. We already have a partnership with an Evo, and our systems are already integrated. You can see on this screen a number of bins with an Evo sensors with fill level data from those sensors displayed. I mentioned earlier that in Alloy, we want to give customers the power to have the system work for you. One of the key ways we achieve that is with workflows. You have the flexibility to create and define workflows as you want. Workflows can be used to update any other data in the system, be that asset or activity related. In the, this example, we are using the input of sensor data to automatically create an activity to empty a particular bin that has reached a particular threshold value. The activity for emptying those bins or whatever work you want to define can be added to a project. 
Alloy can then route that project as a series of, of locations that require activity to be, com be completed at them. There's also an Alloy app that functions on both Android and iOS devices and allows users to keep working in mobile signal black spots. It allows users to interact on an in-cab device, mobile phone or tablet and receive their work instructions, log exceptions or issues and mark activity as being complete. The app has a range of additional capability, which is not possible to go into it in our limited time now, but which includes adding and plotting new and existing assets, taking photos, capturing signatures, undertaking inspections and helping operatives get to their work locations in the easiest way possible. Alloy incorporates Microsoft Power BI so that you can use any of the data within the system as part of your KPI dashboards. Again, this gives you the flexibility to report on your data in the way that you want to see it. As well as managing the assets and activity, Alloy also allows you to understand the costs of your activity. Just like the designer tool we saw earlier, you can create a budget for any particular asset or a group of assets, for example, in order to understand the costs of delivering your URS collection service. Beyond that, Alloy can also enable you to manage commercial services, so that you'll be able to create and manage accounts for whom you deliver services and ensure service costs are not only understood, but also charged accordingly. I'm aware that this has been a very brief review of Yotta and our capabilities. I've already mentioned our par partnership with Inevo, who are also a supplier under lot two of this framework. We also have partners with a number of other technology providers, partnerships with a number of other technology providers whose services can be accessed via Yotta. All of these partnerships have been established because we know that the delivery of the best technical solution needs an openness and connectivity to deliver the outcomes you need. If you need to understand complex route optimization and round balancing, we have a partnership in place with ISL and their Route Smart system, which can meet that need. If you want to provide an app for the public to report issues or, or already use the Love Clean Streets app as a council, we have a partnership with BBITS in place for that. If you need rugged and reliable in-cab devices and an installation solution, we have a partnership with Panasonic Toughbook for that. I trust that that's been helpful and we look forward to speaking to you further as you consider URS technology and make the most of this that is now available to you through the framework.